if we can get that sort of perfection, beat Brazil in the opening game, beat them in the Maracanã in the summer and qualify for Brazil, then, then life is, is really looking good for us. But uh, we won't do that by talking here. We won't be doing that by saying we would like it. The only way we're going to do it is by producing the performances on the field. And I get more and more confident working with these players that we have the ability in the squad to, to play well. And I'm rather hoping that they'll show that tomorrow in front of a, a full house at Wembley. The expectations always going to be, yeah, you know, with England players and, um, you know, when you're qualifying or getting ready for the, the next tournament, the expectation grows the closer you get. Um, what gives me confidence is um, the, the standard of players in the squad that the managers picked. I mean, you know, going into these tournaments, if you can keep everyone healthy and fit and you get to the important stages in the tournament with your best players fit and available, you're going to have a better chance. And you know, if you look at the last tournament, we didn't have Jack, he wasn't available. Uh, Wayne was suspended for a large chunk of the tournament as well. Frank broke down just before the tournament. So, fingers crossed, we can get to Brazil. That's the first challenge. And then we keep all our top players fit and available going into the major tournament. You don't get to Brazil 2014 and take part in a World Cup by winning friendly matches, even if you get great results against you know, the top nations of the world. So... For us, it's another step along the way. It's an important step along the way. We think it's a great way to start 2013 and our 150th anniversary. And we'll be doing our very best to, to, to play well and get a result. I don't think there's any reason why a captain should let someone else lead the team out as such. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, I see them receiving their 100th caps at the same time. I think Ashley, you know, Ashley, in the press, every bit as well as I do, possibly better because you've been following him during 100 games and you also know that as he does his talking and his work on the football field um, I don't think he's ever pushed himself forward during his 100 appearances as a potential captain of the team he just is very happy to be a, a key player in the team so I'm pretty certain that uh, he won't be trying to rip the armband off Stephen tomorrow but that's that's we'll, we'll see if that happens I'll have to step in and do something I guess but I'm not I'm not expecting it for me, I think the fans just need to stop and have a look into what Ashley's give this team over 12 years, you know, desire, commitment. He's give everything he's got inside his body to try and make the supporters happy and to try and bring success for the supporters. So I, I believe he deserves a fantastic reception.